Thomas's bookshop is a great place. Except he shoves words and poems in your face. Ah, but only a little true. Yes, well, you do it. where we have the most popular titles at the most affordable prices. Perhaps I could interest you in Utopia by Sir Thomas More? No more for poetry then, eh? Then how about... Thomas! 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 Yes, what can I do for you? Don't suggest poetry to them. You know poetry's all dirt. Please, let me introduce you to John Wilcox my most valued customer. He prefers a uh, translation of, of Greek and Roman classics to what we in England are creating today. And with good reason. You can't compare the depth and beauty of Homer and Virgil to that of a common Englishman who thinks because of the printing press he deserves to have his work circulated. I mean, look at John Skellington. That's all right. I've memorized it. Of course Such you have. <laughs> oh, I have. It's so bad. What can it avail to drive forth a snail, or to make a sail of an er erring's tail, to rhyme or to rail? Don't tell me that that poetry is anything sort short of a joke. I won't dispute that the printing press has changed the quality of work overall. With manuscripts, only the most important text could be preserved. But with the printing press, more can have their work published. Exactly. I never waste time on any bad poetry. John, have you heard, have you read Sir Philip Sidney's In Defense of Posey? No. You might want to, you might be interested. You might be interested as well. Many people say the same thing as you, John, specifically the playwright Stephen Gosson. And so Sidney uh, wrote his essay arguing that poetry has an important place in our literature. He believes that poetry ha has an important place because it can create a world better than this one, and that because it is known to be made up, it can't hurt anyone. Sidney sounds like he has the, some pretty good ideas, but I doubt you'll be able to find me any poetry I enjoy. Oh, I don't know about that. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Here we are. George Herbert's devotional poetry. Mm. Herbert's also taken advantage to the printing press. A few of his poems, such as The Altar and Easter Wings, are formatted so that the words and lines of the poem make a picture of the subject he writes about. Really? That sounds... Yes, John? I'll check it out. You really ought to as well. Mm -hmm. 